Suck, squeeze, bang and blow. Suck, squeeze, bang and blow. What comes to your mind when you hear me say suck, squeeze, bang and blow? Oh, Daryl, Daryl, calm down, calm down. It is not what you're thinking. Get your mind out of the gutter. I'm going to explain more about suck, squeeze, bang and blow later in this video. Hey, pilots and aviation lovers, welcome to our channel where we motivate and inspire future aviators. My name is Kanu and you are watching Nimba Pilot, the pride of Liberia. Well, before we get into the video, hey, I'm rocking this video in my rockish t shirt. Mm, somebody asked me, where can you get this shirt? Oh, I got an answer for you. Go to www.rockage.com. Or you can find him on IG, Rockish. Um, IG, I think at Rockage. I'm going to have his information, see right here, while flashing on your screen, yeah, and also down below, okay? Uh, this guy, uh, people might say uh, he's up and coming designer, but I say he's up and all he needs is our support. He needs the community support. Um, I was opportune to uh, work with him and this guy work ethic and he, he loves what he he love what he does. When this guy ready to talk to you, when he start talking to you about his uh, design, you can tell he really like what he does and he really put his time into it and you can see it through his work. This teacher is very, uh, the quality is very good, man very good quality he took his time and 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 uh, in making his his stuff i mean he not only t-shirt he doesn't only do t-shirt he he does uh, uh suits uh for men um mostly what i know he does a lot of men clothing so the t-shirt could be for women too but again i'm going to uh put his information down below you can google him up uh, ruggish.com and um yeah tell him uh uh, uh Nima palace sent you but hey disclaimer don't expect hookup i'm just telling you just tell him Nima palace sent you and you guys can go from there again rockish.com or you can find him on ig at rockage with that being said guys let's get back to suck squeeze bank and blow what is that suck squeeze bank and blow is a way is a learning aid for me is the way i remember uh the four stroke stages of a piston uh, uh engine in this case we are talking about a piston aircraft engine why is it a four stroke Okay, it is four straw because the piston in the uh, engine in the cylinder in that cylinder goes up. I start with down, right? Yeah, it's or it start. We start with down. Sorry, down, up, down, up. This will equal to one circle. Okay, one circle. The up and down, up and down equal one circle. So this is the four stroke pro, uh, stages. In the first stage, the piston goes down, allowing fuel and air mixture to go into the cylinder. Now in the second stage, the piston goes up. It compresses the fuel mixture, air, uh, fuel air mixture. And the third stage, which is very important, this is where we get our the power we need for our engine to continuously uh, turn our uh, crankshaft combustion. And uh, this is where the spark plug is going to create a spark which will ignite the fuel air mixture. And then the fourth stage is, well, all of their burn fuel air mixture, the smoke has to exit, right? So this piston coming up will squeeze the air the smoke out through the output valve okay so let me draw something for you um this is my propeller hey guys judge me by my knowledge not by my drawing on this propeller we have something called a crankshaft that is directly uh 
connected to the propeller. Now, on this crankshaft, we have four cylinder. One, two, sorry, it's supposed to be the other way. Two, three, four. Okay. Now, in each cylinder, we have the piston, one piston, we have a spark plug, we have two valve right here like this. Okay, let me, so let me, let me draw the valve. Okay, we have two valve. One is the intake valve, one is the uh, our, our, our exit valve, which is, I mean, our port valve, I call it our port valve, like that. Again, judge me by my knowledge, not my joy. Now, this is how your engine in your car also works. Okay. Stage one, I told you stage one, the piston comes down. When this piston comes down, it creates room for the air mixture, the air fuel mixture to uh, come in into the uh, uh, cylinder, into the combustion chamber, right? This input uh, intake valve is going to open where your your air fuel mixture is going to come in. Now, by the time your fuel air mixture comes in, this uh, thing is ready to go back up. The piston is ready to go back up. As the piston comes up, it will compresses the air fuel mixture. Now something else we're going to talk about later on in stage three of this uh, uh flying instructors p uh, uh, p uh practical test and a pts and it is how one one of the component of the uh aircraft engine is the magnetos we're going to talk about the magnetos and the magnetos briefly magnetos is pretty much is where we generate our spark for the spark plug to spark at a certain time. So in stage three, combustion, uh, 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 this is where the spark, uh, the magneto is going to send a spark to the spark plug and causing the spark plug to create a spark that will cause, bam, fuel, air, fire, no good. But for the engine, very good. Um, this is where the ignition uh, it will ignite. Now, when it in when this ignite, this is where we uh, we get the energy from to continue to to turn this what crankshaft. Okay, and this crankshaft as it turn is turning the propeller. Okay, each one of this cylinder goes through. That's four stages. This is the good uh, thing. This is why aviation is safer. Okay. Now, this propeller can be turned by this one uh, uh, motion here. But guess what? This is a four stroke, right? We have four cylinder, right? Four stroke, four cylinder right here, right? So all of them creating this same stroke. It's turning this propeller uh, crankshaft faster and faster and faster and faster. We turn this propeller faster and faster that where speed comes in. Anyway, again, I'm not going to get ahead of ourselves, right? So this is cylinder one, two, uh oh, three, four. So this is what happening in this. Our first cylinder, you could be on your uh, combustion stage. In cylinder two, you could be on your intake stage. Uh, three or uh, four could be on what uh, exit stage, I will call it exhaustion, uh, taking out the smoke. And this could be on what? compression stage so each one of these things going through the four stages but they are not on the same stage at the same time they are on different stage which cause this propeller to continuously turn or which cause this crankshaft to continuously turn thereby causing your propeller 
to continue on this turn and this is how you can get from here from Georgia to New York right of course with your wing or attached um, <clears throat> so now we'll go back to our sock squeeze bank and blow um, sorry I'm running out of space so I'm not going to spare the whole thing S is for suck S is for squeeze, B is for bang, B is for blow, SSBB. Okay, this is how I remember suck, squeeze, bang, and blow. This is a lot of information for someone who is just getting into aviation. So we have to find a way to be able to learn these things, right? Or your instructor has to find a way to be able to teach you this thing. So suck. When you suck in something, what are you doing? Intake. Right? You sucking it in. You intaking it. So suck, intake. First stage. Squeeze. When you squeeze in something, what? You compressing it. Second stage, compress. Let me just put it that way. Second stage, compress. Squeeze compress bang when you hear bang what is going on yeah it's a loud sound right ignition ignition ignite e g n okay fuel air mixture ignite right there's bang and make a lot of noise so that's your bang blow is your fourth one when you blow something out what are you doing you don't blow something in do you you suck something in but you blow something out this is where we have our exit point or our exhaustion right so suck squeeze bank and blow is the same thing as intake compression ignition exhaustion why are we doing this every student Every student beginning uh, when they start learning, there's one thing they you they, they 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 activate. There's one thing they activate. What is it? It's the rote memorization. They learn something not knowing the the what about that thing. Okay, they do something because their instructor said it's safe to do so, because they see that it is safe to do so. They don't know how it works. Why make it works? They don't want to know at that time. That is what we call rote memorization. When, as a child, when you're learning a, uh, your alphabet, you don't know that you can use the alphabet to write a letter. All you know is A is for apple, B is for ball, right? A, B, C, D. You don't know what you can do with that A, B, C, D. But as you continue to grow in your experience, you continue to learn, you will come to the understanding that, yes, I can use alphabet to write my own name. I can pull alphabet, I can arrange alphabet to write a letter. So it's the same thing here. As a new student, as a student pilot, as new, someone new into aviation, explaining this whole process, they don't really need to know. All they need to know is, there is a full process in, uh, that is going on in one stage is suck, squeeze, bank, and blow. So what is our topic of today, man? That thing took me forever to bring out our topic of the day. So what is our topic of today? As you can see, it's techniques of flight instructors. Techniques of flight instructor. We are on the FOI uh, tax F. And it is titled Techniques of Flight Instructors. Flight Instructor, as we have learned from Tax A, B, C, D, E. And yes, if you haven't watched it, we, we uh, will encourage you to go back and watch Tax A, B, C, D. And if you have not yet done so also, um, please consider subscribing to our channel. But anyway... A, B, C, and D, E are up. You can go and watch it. And throughout this task, we've been talking about flight instructors. And our goal or our only reason of being a flight instructor is to help the student learn. Like we've, we've uh, said so many times, 
um, people are from different backgrounds, as we all know. People have different experience. Therefore, people have different perception. So your job as a flight instructor is to learn how that person is, or how does that person learn? The best way to teach that person by knowing that you're going to uh, effectively teach that person. So by coming up with ways to be able to teach a difficult task to your student, it is the techniques you use to do that, to accomplish that. So we're going to go, be going through some of these things we've already talked about in uh, throughout this text. And I don't know why the FAA decided to uh, make this tax uh, for us to go over because most of the thing we've been talking about in tax A, B, C, D, most of them are mentioned in this tax. But anyway, the first thing we see is obstacle of learning. How do you, as instructor, tackle that? How do you get through the uh, obstacle, bypass, bypass the obstacle to be able to teach your student, to be able to help your student learn? Again, we are from different backgrounds with different perception. English could be what? An obstacle for a student. How do we, as flight instructor, find a way to teach the student and and get and get them to learn what we want them to learn uh, physical discomfort well how will you teach your student on when he's sick will you still take them up higher in uh, up attitude when they're having a uh, uh, um, headache will you, or will you say okay you know what you're having you're not feeling good hey let's just go and do the ground session today okay anxiety flight uh some people are scared of flight but still they want to learn how to fly anxiety can take their focus from what what they're supposed to be learning to what their own safety right and that will that will be an obstacle because you're not getting through to them why they're not paying attention to you not because they don't want to it's because they are anxious okay um we talk about uh, assessment, and assessment is one one of the uh, uh, important steps in flight training. It's vital to uh, 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 flight training. So, uh, <clears throat> and on this channel, we stressed on being constructive in all of your assessment, okay, and critique. Be constructive. You want your student to learn from it. Um, we talk about a different type of uh, uh, assessment uh, there is. We have decision making process. We have performing based uh, assessment. We have rating assessment. But for us as instructors, we will mostly be uh, doing working with two performing based assessment or decision based assessment. Your aeronautical decision making. Okay, hey, you coming in to land, short final, you're too high. Are you going to force the aircraft down or are you going to go around and do it all over? That is your, you're going to assess that student based on their decision. Now, performing base will be you up there doing a, a, a steep turn. How they are performing the maneuver. Are they performing it the right way? The assessment will be based on that. Okay, <clears throat> you can go back and, and watch tax E, assessment and critique, and you're going we, we dove deeper into this topic in the video. Uh, demonstration performance uh, assessment. So one of the uh, examples we have here for good techniques would be, um, for example, exchanging uh, flight control. Now we have three different steps to make sure someone is always flying the aircraft. For example, the student is flying, the, uh, the instructor is first flying the aircraft and he wants to give it to the student. Why does the instructor say, 
The instructor will start by saying, you have the flight control. Now the student has to acknowledge and respond, yes, I have the flight control. And then the instructor will have to go back and confirm that the student is actually holding the yoke and flying the plane. Then he, the instructor, will definitely say, now you have the flight control. But uh, the same way, the other way, vice versa. If the student wants to give the control to the uh, instructor, the student must say, instructor, you have the control. Instructor have to acknowledge, I have the control. The student have to look at the instructor, make sure the instructor is controlling the aircraft. Then he must, he or she must leave the aircraft now to the instructor by saying, you have the control. So these are good practice in a stereo cockpit. And this is mostly for airliner part 121, but we also practice it because what our career, we're going, to, we're not going to just be flying this smaller plane all the time. We're going to, you know, go to faster jet and we're going to go above 10,000 feet. You see, so when you are below 10,000 feet, you are not supposed to be lecturing and catch your lecture. Every uh, conversation in the aircraft at that attitude should be pertaining the uh, safety of the uh, flight, right? You can't be taking off and talking to your uh, co-pilot about the night you have in the bar, how sleepy you are. No, that's not stereo carpet. Um, news of distraction. These are techniques to kind of uh, 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 see the student decision making. Okay, you climbing up and your pen drop from your pocket or from your lap. Now you on you climbing at VY. Which one is important right now? Is picking up that pen important? Then you pay attention to what you're doing. If you drop a pen and your student leave what he, he leaves flying the plane to go pick up that now you know that you need to teach him more stress more on uh, decision making because that was not a good decision that he or she just made because by leaving their control just for a second as a new pilot when you when you uh, bend over to take that uh, uh, pen guess what your hand is going like this and guess what you're doing you're putting an aircraft in an attitude that you don't want you, you didn't uh, intend it to put it in so those are uh, things that you need to uh, 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 a technique you, used to, you need to use to kind of evaluate your student integrated flight instrument uh, and uh, integrated flight instructing what is that uh, <clears throat> This is, this is simply saying, teach uh, the student to look outside and also look inside. Okay, 90% 90, 90 of our flying, well, let me, doing VFR flight. 95 or 90% 90 of the flight is by looking outside. That's why a visual flight. You have to be looking outside to be able to see all the traffic. You have to be looking outside to be able to see terrain. So, you got to look outside. Now, what they are saying here is, yes, we want to be looking outside, but teach your student some instrument training techniques by looking and trusting your instrument. Okay? Because it happens. People go flying the VFR weather before you know it. Clouds come around and you find yourself in clouds. You got to be able to get yourself out of that cloud. Now, if you have no instrument training, you're going to be relying on your body sensing. And when you are in the cloud, your body is telling you something different than what the aircraft is doing. So by trusting the aircraft instrument, you can get yourself out of the trouble that you put yourself in, in the first place. So anyway, this video is supposed to be short because, I mean, it is very short. And um, I hope you guys learned something from it. Um, hey guys, let me take this time to say, uh, stay safe out there. Uh, coronavirus is 
again it is real is uh killing folks uh you just got to be careful Pre uh, prevention is better than cure wear your mask uh if i see that a lot of flight schools are opening now so uh if you are in the aircraft with someone else protect yourself protect them you never know man or girl um wear your mask uh, if you are flying solo of course you don't have to wear it but yeah protect yourself prevention is better than cure well that's all i have for you guys today daryl yes um i hope you understand the sock squeeze bank and blow now right it's not your sock squeeze bank and blow i'm just speaking on you man um like we say on here stay proficient stay current have fun flying i will see you on in the other video but always remember to keep this blue sky up